These are notes from Melham's Math 120 online, section 1.1. First, here are the problems, section 1.1. Problems 1 through 71, so I'll be showing those to you now for those of you who need it. Okay, so starting on page number eight, as you can see, assignment is 1 through 71 odd. So hold it steady so you can watch the video and get the homework problems later if you need it. And there's the bottom part. And a little bit more. And then the back of the book with the solutions for section 1.1. Way at the back, there's 1.1 starting over here. And there we go. All right, so here are select problems, and this is generally the way that I'll be doing it. <laughs> so these are problems directly out of the homework, so that makes your doing your homework a little bit easier. Number one, 3x minus 6x. These are called like terms, so you can just combine the numbers that are in front. These are called coefficients, the numbers that are in front. So 3x minus 6x is a negative 3x. Same thing for 7. 3a minus 2a plus 5a. Okay, they're all a's, so I can just combine the numbers that are in front, the coefficients. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, so the answer is 6a. 13, 2x minus 3 plus 3x minus 2. I can combine the x's with the x's, and then the numbers with the numbers. So 2x plus 3x gives me 5x. Negative 3 and a negative 2 make a negative 5, so the answer is 5x minus 5. Number 19, I combine all the A's, 7A, 2A, and 3A. Those are like terms, so I add the coefficients. 7 plus 2 plus 3 comes out to be 12A, plus the only number is 3, so I just leave it as 12A plus 3. 25, we use the distributive property, negative 3 times 2X minus 1 <coughs> plus 5. So I do negative 3 times 2X, which is negative 6X. Then negative 3 times a negative 1 is a positive 3. Then I add the 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, but I just leave alone the negative 6x. So negative 6x plus 8. 31 looks like this. You distribute the negative 4. You don't touch that or that, but the negative 4 gets multiplied by each of these. So leave alone the negative 4, uh, the negative 9. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 4 times a negative y is a positive 4y, then the plus 1. Okay, then I combine the y's with the y's and the numbers with the numbers. There's only one expression of the y, 4y. And then negative 9 minus 8, that's a negative 17. Plus 1 is a negative 16. Okay, 37, I distribute the 8. If a minus sign distributes, all it does is change the sign. So this becomes a negative 6a. Minus a minus one is plus one. Okay, eight times two a is sixteen a. Eight times four is thirty two. All right, then combine a with a. Sixteen a minus six a is ten a, and then thirty two plus one is equal to thirty three. Forty three, very similar. Negative nine times each of these. So negative nine times two x is negative eighteen x. Negative nine times one is negative nine. This minus distributes just changes each sign, so negative x minus 5. Then combine x with x and number with number. Negative 18x minus 1x, you pretend there's a 1 there, so negative 18 minus 1 is negative 19x. And then number with number, negative, five, negative 9 and negative 5 gives me a negative 14. In 49, they give me an expression, they just want me to plug in x equals 2 to x squared minus 8x plus 16. So plug in a 2 here. 2 squared. Plug in a 2 here, <clears throat> negative 8 times 2. So that's 4 minus 16 plus 16. Well, minus 16 plus 16 cancels out, so we just have 4. 53, take this expression and plug in negative 5. We will simplify first 7x minus x, that's like minus 1x, 6x, negative 4 minus 3 is a negative 7. And now we plug in negative 5 for x. 6 times negative 5 is a negative 30. Negative 30 minus 7 is a negative 37. 
61, this complicated expression x squared plus 6x plus 9y plus 6xy plus 9y squared, plug in x equals negative 3, y equals 5. So everywhere I see x, I put negative 3, there and there, there and there. Everywhere I see y, I put in 5, there and there. So negative 3 squared, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 6 times a negative 3 times a 5 comes out to be a minus 90. 9 times 25, order of operations, I square first. So 9 times 25, that comes up to be 225. Put these all together, 144. 63, x plus 3y squared, plugging the same two numbers, negative 3 and 5. So negative 3 plus 3 times 5 squared, that's negative 3 plus 15 squared, which is 12 squared. 12 times 12 is 144. Okay, notice you get the same answer here and here. This is a side note, which would lead you to indicate that this and this are the same expression. They actually are, and we'll learn that later. Okay, then 65, they give you an expression 12x minus 3. They want you to plug in 1 half. So 12 times 1 half is 6, or you can say half of 12 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. And finally, 71, same thing. They want you to plug in 3 fourths. So 12x minus 3, plug in 3 over 4. 12 times 3 fourths minus 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. All right, so these are notes from Elham's Math 120 online, section 1.1.